Okay, welcome to the lesson one review from John chapter one, verses one through 18. We are looking at the first five vocabulary words. The first thing that you have to be able to do is to read them. So look at this first one and say it. N. Next one. Arhi is i. Next one. Imi. Next one. O. Ito. Last one. Logos. U O. Okay, let's do them together. N. Arhi is i. Imi. O i to. Logos. U O. All right, the next thing you need to be able to do is to write them when I say them. So, on a piece of paper next to you, go ahead and write it while I say it. Don't look at the screen, of course. The first one, N. N. Next one, Arhi. Is. E. And be careful to make sure there is a dash in front of the is because that's telling you it's an ending. Arhi. Is. E. Number three, Imi. Imi. Number four, O. E to. That is three separate words. O e to. Next one. Logos u o. Logos u o. And make sure on the u that there is a dash in front of it. That tells you that it's an ending. Okay. Check your work and try again if you need to. The third thing you're supposed to be able to do with the vocabulary is to give the part of speech for each entry. So the first one is N. N is a preposition. Arhi is a noun. Imi is a verb. O i to is an article. Logos is a Noun. All right, let's do a little practice. Imi, verb. Arhi, noun. O, article. N, prepos uh, preposition. Logos, noun. O, article. Arhi, noun. Imi, verb. N, preposition. Okay, the fourth thing you have to be able to do is to explain each part of each entry. All right, now up here we have simply the word. N is the dictionary word. On arhi, we have three parts. Arhi, and there's a little comma to show you that this part's done. Is, another little comma, and e. There are one, two, three parts. Arhi is the word. Is is an ending for arhi, and e is the article. So what's arhi? The word. What's is? An ending. And what's e? The article. The article is given in a nouns entry to show you which one it requires. Each noun requires its correct article. So we would always say e arhi, the beginning. We would never use the o with arhi. You would never see o arhi. It has to be e arhi. So this is a noun entry. Word, ending, article. E me. It's just the word for a verb. Next one. O e to. This is an article. There are three articles in the entry. O goes with some nouns. E goes with other nouns. To goes with some nouns. We have to have three because each noun requires its own matching article. So why are there three entries for the article? Each noun requires its matching article. Masculine, feminine, neuter. Those are the grammar words. 
Last one. Logos u o. Now, you should be able to do it because Arhi is and Logos are the same. So Logos is the word. U with the dash, notice the dash, tells you that it's an ending. And O is the article. Okay, the last thing that you need to be able to do with this vocabulary list is to give an example of a phrase or a clause using each of the words. So can you think of something from our passage that has N in it? En arhi, or en afto, or en tiscotia. There's a couple choices. It happens three times already. All right, now what about arhi? En arhi, ino logos. I mi. Um, that's in, so en arhi, in o logos. Okay, what about o? O logos. It's the only one we've seen so far. We've seen izoi or tofos. So any of those are acceptable. So you could say o logos or um, ton theon is an example of this or izoi or tofos. So there's several choices with this. This gets used so many times, you'll get tons and tons of examples. Logos, kathéos in o logos, or enarchi in o logos. So lots of usages. Okay, good. Um, so keep practicing. Uh, you're supposed to be able to do these five things with the vocabulary. Read them. Write them. Tell what part of speech they are. Explain each part of each entry. And give an example of a phrase or a clause that uses that word appropriately. Okay, good job, and keep studying your vocabulary.